My designation is X2. I have no other name. The second of two clones created from the DNA of a Jedi, I looked up to my elder brother X1 from an early age. Raised in secret by the Kaminoans, X1 and I trained the Grand Army of the Republic before the start of the Clone Wars. It was under the twin sons of Tatooine this story truly began. Tatooine was an early victory for the Republic during the Clone Wars. But its importance was far greater than that. It was there that the shared destiny of two brothers was forged. An attack on Coruscant seemed unthinkable. So when the CIS struck at the heart of the Republic, few were prepared. Our X-1 and I was just another chance to prove ourselves in battle. The Clone Wars took us to the heart of the Separatist movement. The planet Cato Nemordia. During this battle, the true nature of the conflict would be revealed. The Republic became an empire, and the light of the Jedi was all but extinguished. The rise of the Galactic Empire offered X-1 power beyond his wildest dreams. But Order 66 and the Jedi Purge soon turned brother against brother. After the death of Master Ferrata, I could serve the Empire no longer. It was on Dantooine that I would encounter Fallon Gray, one of the last of the Jedi, and learn the true identity of my genetic father. I would also be reunited with X-1, this time on opposite sides of the battle lines. You should realize that you destroy your enemies when you make peace with them. You should realize you can only make peace after destroying your enemies completely. Mission accomplished. Let's go. Once I joined the Rebel Alliance, my determination to strike back at the Empire was galvanized. When the Rebels needed to know more about the Death Star, I volunteered immediately. It would be a dangerous mission, but I owed it to the memory of the Republic and the Jedi. Luke Skywalker had done the impossible. The Death Star was destroyed. But the Empire would not take such a blow lightly. The counterattack on Yavin 4 hit us like lightning. 
the Alliance would have to evacuate or be wiped out. An Imperial probe droid had discovered our secret base on Hoth. The Empire launched a full-scale invasion, planning to crush the Alliance once and for all. The evacuation of Echo Base was our first priority. But soon enough, I would have to attend to family matters. The Rebel fleet assembled for a last-ditch assault on the new Death Star. Everything hinged on the destruction of the shield generator on the forest moon of Endor. But we had underestimated Palpatine. We were about to walk into a deadly trap. Vader and Palpatine were slain. And the Death Star obliterated. For a brief moment, we celebrated. But X-1 was already drawing up plans for a new galactic empire, with himself at the throne. But my first challenge as a Jedi would be the liberation of Bespin from the clutches of the Imperial Remnant. Fortunately, Lando Calrissian would be along for the ride. With the Emperor gone, X-1 had been reborn as a Sith Lord. But he still needed to learn the darkest secrets of the Force. That quest took X-1 to the acid-drenched mountains of Vyun. Resting place of Darth Vader's castle. I had to stop him before he learned too much. X-1's trail led to Mustafar. With the full power of the dark side at his command, he planned to lead an army of twisted clones in a bid for galactic conquest. As his brother, it was my sworn duty to stop him once and for all. You have won. I won't kill you, brother. Then die! <laughs> It was a victory for the Alliance. Luke was saved. But the struggle for freedom was not over yet. There would be new battles and new challenges. And the Jedi would meet them all.